Extension of Maternity Benefits Beyond Employment Period Court Orders, Introduction In a recent three-judge bench judgment of the Supreme Court of India in the case of Kavita Yadav, vs. the Secretary, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Department and OZ, the maternity benefits were granted to an eligible employee for the period beyond her contractual period of employment. The Maternity Benefit Act, 1961 safeguards working women's right to employment with wages during the time of their maternity and prescribes a leave period of 26 weeks to those female employees who have worked for a period of at least 80 days in the 12 months immediately preceding the date of her expected delivery, which can be availed up to two children. Facts of the Case the employee was engaged as a senior resident, pathology, at a hospital in Delhi on contract basis for a term of one year effective from the 12th of June 2014, which could be extended twice that is until the 11th of June 2017. The employee applied for maternity leave starting from the 1st of June 2017. The employer communicated to her that the contract would come to an end on the 11th of June 2017 so she was not entitled to maternity benefits beyond the 11th of June 2017. Both the Central Administrative Tribunal, Principal Bench, New Delhi as well as the Delhi High Court had dismissed the appeal of the employer granting her maternity benefits beyond her employment contract. Rationale for the Supreme Court Judgment However, the Supreme Court observed that the continuing nature of maternity benefits is inbuilt in the statute where the benefits would survive and continue despite the cessation of employment. The Apex Court further referred to the judgments in Municipal Corporation of Delhi v. Female Workers, Master Role, and Dar, and the Singh v. Central Administrative Tribunal and others. If an employer attempts to enforce the contract duration during such period for benefits claimed by her, such action would constitute discharge and attract the embargo against discharge under the Act. Conclusion Considering the landmark judgment, if a woman, including both contractual and daily wage workers, has worked in an establishment for at least 80 days during the immediate 12 months preceding her date of delivery, she becomes eligible for the maternity benefits of 26 weeks prescribed under the Act, even if such benefits extend for the period beyond the tenure of her employment. Any questions ask sequel.